first here some back to the Zafar. I'm sorry that my computer has a problem. Uh, good morning, good evening, and good afternoon, my friends and ladies and gentlemen. So for the short talk, uh, uh, I don't use the slide. I just want to say, just like the first said, how to use observation with the big servers or using bigger data to support the SDG. Everybody knows that, uh, you know, SDG, we have the 17 goals. We have 169 targets, and uh, total we have the 230 plus indicators. But you do analysis. All of the indicators we can divide into the three parts. The first one we call the tier one. Tier one we can say supported by both methods and data. And tier two we have the methods but lack data. And we have tier three we have need the standard methods no data. That means we are facing the great challenge. What kind of challenge? We need the data. We need the methodology. For this, you know, issue the. United Nations just five years ago, uh, they initiated another, you know, document uh, initiative uh, called the TFM. What's the TFM? TFM, TFM means, uh, uh, you know, a technology facilitation mapping. This mapping, you know, we have the three platforms. The, the first one is the United Nations Agency Task Team on uh, STI for the SDGs. And I include the 10 member group. So, the far, let me talk something about, uh, you know, SDG from the perspective of the United Nations. I think because I work in the 10 member group for already a couple of years. The second platform we call the Market Stakeholder Forum on Science, Technology, and Innovation for the SDG. So, we simply we said STI Forum. And uh, the third one is the online platform as a gateway for information on existing STI initiatives, methods, and uh, programs. So we are facing the challenge. We need the methodology. We need the data. Now we have the TFM, you know, mapping. What kind of the, you know, TFM mapping? What kind of technology we have? So right now, we really think our digital Earth, including the Earth version, including the big Earth data, so can play a very important role, can support the SDG at least in three major ways. The first one, who can feed in missing data and provide a new sources of data for evaluation. The second one, who can create a new methodologies using like in the digital Earth and other technologies and models to evaluate the SDGs and indicators. And the third one, who can develop practice, practice cases of digital for SDGs and as in monitoring the progress of SDG indicators. Recently, you know, our 10 member group have a meeting on the online. Uh, the meetings, you know, the title is Science Technology Advice for the SDGs. We have the round table, uh, you know, meeting. So uh, the topic we talk in that round table uh, is the four topics. The first one, the lesson learned from the COVID-19 responses for improving science technology advisory system. And the second one, the making science technology policy system systems capable of rapid development and delivery of critical technology solutions for the SDGs. The third one is about strengthening international cooperation on science and technology and the way forward. And the last one is the further improvement of the and engagement of scientists and engineers in the United Nations technology facilitation mapping. Talking a lot about the data and the big data. Example is an online platform for sharing technologies and data we think is very critical for international cooperation on STI, STI science technology innovation for SDGs. Uh, you know, examples, so you know that including the TFM, 
when he started connect, when he started connecting in the United Nations platform, share data and share information. So people really think, you know, the infrastructure is really important, especially, you know, the digital infrastructures and uh, connectivity need improvement, especially by national authorities. So investment in big data infrastructure should be the first priority we think at the technology facilitation in all countries. We think that the TFM should engage with the science, technology, and the policy commu communities in more frequent, frequent, interactive, and uh, proactive ways to improve visibility in global communities by raising and posing critical questions on SD SDGs. We think that the cross-cutting dialogue show the public side, side major SDG-related data as well as the practical development solutions generated from these communities. In this document, uh, you know, finally said, a step forward some efforts is the International Research Center of Bigger Data for SDGs, which was recently established in China, which will be open to all and very important SDG data gaps. So what kind of the center I want to say again, uh, you know, the, the whole name we call the International Research Center of Big Data for Sustainable Sustainable Development So Chinese President Xi Jinping used to be, you know, at the United Nations General Assembly in summer 22nd. That means we should set up a new center by using big data. You know, big data means our digital, means our observation, and, and a different kind of methodology and uh, technology. So for this new center, I will, uh, you know, have the five the tasks. The first one, we should establish the big data uh, the platform, big data and information platform. The second one, according to the plan, we will launch a series of satellites. We call it the SDG satellite. SDG satellite, the um, science satellite, the, the data can share, you know, around the world. And the third one is, you know, actually has monitoring and evaluation uh, research. And the fourth one, just uh, by using the some technology innovation, uh, facilitate the SDGs, you know, synthesize. And the last one, some education and practice and uh, training, training for, you know, uh, some people, many from the you know, developing country. Uh, to do the how to use the digital earth, how to do the use the bigger data uh, to support the um, SDG uh, development. So, ladies and gentlemen, you know, right now we are uh, just uh, preparing the International Center for SDG by using the uh, big data and the digital earth. Um, you are welcome to involve this, uh, uh, you, you know, uh, the new initiative. So we can work together by using our community of uh, different technology methodology to contribute to the United Nations, the SDG, uh, you know, the greater goals. Thank you. Thank you very much.